If you thought that the EV industry already hit its peak, then you've got another thing coming because we believe that 2023 will be the year that we will witness the rise of the EV industry. Total U.S. auto sales were only slightly over 3.4% over the previous year. In comparison, electric vehicle sales soared by 85% from 3 million to 6.6 .6 million vehicles. What'll happen after that? Is it possible that by 2025, the global supply of EV batteries is at risk of depletion? Although other automakers are struggling with severe battery shortages, Elon Musk just shared quite a bit of exciting information about their 4680 battery production ramp in the recent investor call. Yeah, we still feel confident that the 4680 will be yes. the most competitive battery cell in the world. So how goes the production of the Tesla 4680 batteries? And will the major automakers take advantage of the opportunity to increase battery production in order to dominate the EV market? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. As the world shifts up a gear in its transition to electric vehicles, the demand for batteries has skyrocketed. Demand for lithium ion batteries has surged to 400 gigawatt hours in 2021, up from 59 gigawatt hours back in 2015, and it's expected to jump another 50% in 2022. However, all the world's cell production combined represents well under 10% of what we will need in 10 years, meaning that 90% to 95% of the supply chain does not exist. In response to the anticipated shortages, GM announced a multi-year sourcing agreement with Glencore, under which Glencore will supply GM with cobalt. In contrast, Tesla always has its own way of great progress. The company is moving forward with plans to build a lithium refinery in a bid to gain more control over the supply chain for electric vehicle batteries. So then how is Tesla's 4680 battery production capacity going? Tesla's production of the 4680 battery cells is one of the most interesting topics because the future growth of the company depends on it. During the third quarter of 2022 earnings call, Tesla executives shared the progress of the work in this direction, and the news was very good. Our production of 4680 cells has tripled in Q3 compared to the previous quarter. Uh, we are finally gaining rapid traction on the 4680 cell. According to the release, production of the new 4680 cells is finally gaining momentum and tripled in the third quarter. Musk said output is growing rapidly and will become a significant part of Giga Texas vehicle production in the coming months. As per usual, Tesla has not stopped improving either. The company already has second generation manufacturing equipment for its 4680 battery cell line at Giga Texas. Musk also highlighted that the 4680 production lines in Texas and Fremont are making great progress. Tesla's CFO, Zachary Kirkhorn, did share an additional piece of information during the conference call, and that is, production is tracking to exceed 1,000 car sales per week this quarter. By doing simple math, a Tesla car has 828 battery cells, so 828 times 1,000 is 828,000 battery cells. Now, if you divide 820,000 by seven days, that gives you roughly 118,000 battery cells being produced per day. At 60 kilowatt hours per car, it would mean 60 megawatt hours of weekly 4680 battery cell production, or three gigawatt hours on an annualized basis. This output could be more in the next five years, to the tune of 30 gigawatt hours per year. But with current 4680 battery output, how will Tesla allocate them? One shareholder asked about the factors Tesla would consider to determine which vehicles get 2170 or 4680 cells. Well, the, the, a semi doesn't use 4680s. So we, we are making uh, model wise. Some of the model wise coming out of Giga Texas are uh, 4680. Elon Musk assumed the semi would use the 2170 battery, but that doesn't change the power and range that the company has been advertising. Very important, no sacrifice to cargo capacity, 500 mile range. Just to be clear, 500 miles with the cargo, repeated Musk. What's more, it also seems the automaker hasn't been using the batteries on a large number of Model Y SUVs yet. 
which is probably so that they can save them for the Cybertruck, but honestly, we have no way of knowing Tesla's strategies for certain. Even though the EV market is still relatively small, it is growing rapidly and is a very potential market. Thus, not only Tesla, but big companies are also encroaching on the playing field. General Motors plans to sell 30 different models of electric vehicles by 2025. A $35 billion investment strongly indicates the automaker's commitment to investing in EVs. They have officially begun Ultium EV battery production in the US as part of its $2.3 billion joint venture with LG Energy Solution. The joint venture's 2.8 million square foot facility in Ohio is now assembling battery packs for the GMC Hummer EV. Two additional plants in Spring Hill, Tennessee and Lansing, Michigan are under construction. A fourth plant is also planned in New Carlisle, Indiana, which will bring GM's projected total U.S. battery capacity to 160 gigawatt hours. The ambitious plans come as the company tries to catch up with EV industry leaders such as Tesla. Musk's company, the world's largest EV maker, has manufactured its own batteries for years and says its Nevada Gigafactory became the highest volume battery plant in the world back in 2018 with roughly 20 gigawatt hours. Tesla announced an ambitious plan to boost battery production capacity to 3 terawatt hours by 2030, which is 19 times more than GM. GM is aggressively scaling battery cell and EV production in North America to reach our target of more than 1 million units of annual capacity by 2025, said GM Global Purchasing and Supply Chain VP Jeff Morrison. The company has said it will phase out the production of gas-powered cars by 2035, and this shows that GM is making a big bet on EVs, aiming to put all its eggs in one basket, which means the confrontation is getting more intense. However, from a long-term perspective, the investment thesis of GM looks strong, but those looking for a quick turnaround will be disappointed. GM suffered a setback to its big EV ambitions when the company announced the third recall of the all-electric Chevrolet Bolt. The company recalled all 141,000 Chevy Bolts, later confirming that 16 of the cars had caught fire. GM pointed to battery manufacturing flaws as the culprit, specifically a torn anode tab and a folded separator, and a few individual cells. This proves that GM's battery technology is still young and can hardly beat Tesla. But what about you? How do you feel about Tesla's 4680 battery production capacity? And do you think GM will catch up with Tesla? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode, and we would like to thank you so much for watching and for your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.